Greg and I talked about. We, we, it's funny. We had the nine-run inning. So Colton Hathcock gets his fifth save. <laughs> had it not been for two big defensive plays by Grudzelonic and Carlos, we're, we're having a whole different conversation probably up here on the postgame show. Well, you know, I, what I told the team was uh, – we we throw the nine run inning on the board and then we have a hard time from the mound with with Connor and Colton and Tyler Walton and doubling up any strikes D- throwing double up strikes looking at the charts when we threw two strikes back to back whether it was 0-0 or or the count may have been 1-0 then we go 1-1 and 1-2 those guys never reach base so and when we had a very very difficult time in throwing double up strikes and we pitched behind the count out of the pen kind of like just losing fastball command and uh, so that elevates everybody that steps in the box for Georgia Southern they're, they're you know it's not a 220 hitter he's a 290 hitter now yeah. and it's you know so you elevate who they are by what you're doing and it creates those things and you, you know the bleeders and the chinkers they're all happening on advantage counts and and uh, so the lesson is when you get a lead like that you you keep playing you know obviously we're not going to go crazy and start stealing a bunch of bases and all that I never took the stop sign off but Somebody's got to get a bunt down. Yeah. You know, Shred's got to get that guy over when we get when we lead off. When Carlos leads off and then steals second, now we got to get him over. So sack fly just to put one on the board, just to create a big yeah. vibe in our dugout. And we had a hard time doing that today. I don't care what the lead is. You learned last weekend against Illinois State that no lead is safe. So I guarantee you that at nine to one, you're still thinking, "Hey, let's just keep doing things. Let's keep adding some more runs." And lo and behold, here comes Georgia Southern popping 16 hits on the board and making it a nine-eight game right down to the wire. I think you know you've been around this game a long time that anything's possible. Anything's possible. And I, you know, and I thought we we swung the bats well. We we you know they played very deep. We lined a lot of balls out. We barreled a lot of balls up. Uh, and then you kind of got to get the feeling that okay, that's not flowing in our favor. Now let's let's let me look and see if I can lay a bunt down, see if I can run on a dirt ball, and see if I can get a stolen base. Or and and so then it becomes an offensive execution, just executing to score one, and and one would have been like three, you know, and with yeah. creating momentum. And so, uh, but but you know, a series win against that club is very good. Rodney's got a very well coached team. I think they're going to make a lot of noise in the Sun Belt. Uh, it's a good series win, and I don't want to take that away from our guys. And boy, it's good, to, you know. And, and and really, I don't fault Hunter Smith. Hunter Smith went in there and attacked his own. They saw him for the second time this weekend, and and they they had a little different offensive plan for him. And then Carlos makes a big play. But it's a, it's a multiple faceted game. It's not just hitting and pitching, as Jeff mentioned. The two defensive gems, first Grzelanek turning that double play was incredible and then Carlos Williams who you moved from center to left field makes the play of the game and that's a big part of it is defense and you really shine today with the leather yeah you know after Vogie started bad and Vogie's swinging the bat well you know he's barreling up a lot of balls and and but you know he's a little bit limited defensively Mm -hmm. and and uh, so I said hey we got you know we got three runs to play with here I'm gonna put my best defensive outfield out there we can now with with Tyler Webb out and so that's why I shifted and made that move and and uh I knew Carlos was going to rob that home. <laughs> left. So I wanted to have him in left. Uh, but, no, it, it, and it's it's good. This team is finding ways to win. And and even today, you know, that's a one-run win that looked like it was it was a, a very easy because of the yeah. lead we got. But that was a very difficult game to grind out a win in the way things unfolded. Seven and three through the first ten. How happy are you? I'm happy. You know, I'm happy that we're, we're, we're kind of learning who we are. We, and it's good having Gruzy back in there, the bat. Uh, you know, you see our middle infielders were, were not very rangy, but they're going to drive in probably more than they let in, and that's that's how we're built. So that's how we play. Uh, I thought our, you know, in the first inning today, we fed off of each other. When this lineup can feed off of each other, we can be very difficult. And then we had a hard time getting anybody to feed off of, you know, from that point on in the game. But uh, we can we can throw big innings on the board just with with swinging the bat, and we, and we did that just enough today. Final question for you. you got the two at Middle Tennessee State scheduled right now for Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see what the weather, if it ends yeah. up being a double dip on Wednesday. What's the uh, the thought process right now of your pitching? Probably James Muse will get the the first game in the series, and then we're going to kind of look at some, see how some guys feel tomorrow. Uh, Muse will get the first game, and then uh, maybe a bowling will go back, and we'll try mm-hmm. to throw unthrow him at the beginning of a game. Uh, with the Hunter Smith emerging in the bullpen now, we still got Matoxin down there. We still got uh, a Bobo that we have confidence in. We have confidence that we got enough guys, to, I think, to get the game to Colton as it's unfolding that have been in games now and shown us that they can do it. 
Uh, so trying to get some things worked out with John John early, that could be a possibility for the second game of that of that series. All right, sounds good, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, thanks guys. Hey, Coach Darren Schoenrock joining us now on the post-game show.